Hello and welcome to the Helium Down Under channel. This call tonight, this video is going to be addressing the question that's on everybody's lips right now here in Australia and New Zealand and that is where can I purchase a hotspot for the Australian and New Zealand market? Or where are the units that I have ordered? How far are they away? All that information and more is going to be coming up on this call so let's crack on. And welcome, folks. Here we are on the Helium Down Under channel. Uh, this call tonight is going to be all about basically the suppliers, the manufacturers of the Helium hotspots, uh, some predictions on when our hotspots will arrive and where can we order them if you haven't already ordered them right now. My name is Ian and this is the Helium Down Under channel, a channel that focuses on Helium, the Internet of Things, the People's Network, and focus, with a focus here in Australia and across the ditch in New Zealand. So let's have a look here. Of course, folks, if you are watching this channel, there's a good chance that you've actually already ordered your Helium hotspot. Okay, well, here we are on the world of hotspots, all of the manufacturers that are shipping hotspots around the world. Uh, the companies that have got the yellow rings around them, which is Kelchip, Nebra, and Synchrobit, are the only distributors which are distributing to the Australian region, that is the AU915 region. Uh, now, Rack Wireless is actually distributed by Calchip, so they are one and the same. So let's talk about Nebra. This is the company that I actually have an order with. My order was placed back in March. I am in batch four. Uh, there are many, many thousands of people that are waiting for orders uh, around the world and I would anticipate here in Australia there are likewise uh, many thousands of people waiting. Uh, currently, Nebra are not accepting new orders. Uh, if you go to their website at uh, nebra.com, you will find that there is the out of stock for all of the frequency bands. You can put your details in their window. Uh, to be updated for any announcements uh, regarding new shipping. Alrighty, so here we are with the Nebra distribution schedule as it stands at the moment with batch one through until batch five. Now batch one are complete. Uh, batch two commenced distribution a couple of weeks ago now and there are a number of units in Australia that are from batch two. Not entirely sure if there are still more units from batch two to arrive in Australia, but that one is in process as we speak. Now batch three, batch four and batch five, those three batches are the batches that will have the significant levels of helium hotspots uh, in their delivery schedule. Batch three is scheduled to be distributed or estimated to be delivered in July. Uh, batch four, July, August and batch five does not have a distribution date at this point. Uh, let's scroll through to some information that was taken from the Discord channel uh, a short while ago. And that is the batch one is completed or bar some individual issues. I don't believe that any of those are from Australia. Batch two, uh, there may still be a few batch two to be delivered yet. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, but let, down here we can see that we should have another 17,000 units ready to ship by the end of the month, the month being July. And according to the manufacturers across indoor and outdoor units, but obviously this is all to be taken with a pinch of salt for now. What does that mean? I'm not entirely sure. I guess the company themselves don't even have great confidence in their ability to deliver, but nonetheless, that's what it states. If they get the 17,000 units across the line, this will cover all of batch three and the beginning of batch four. Now, from a selfish personal level, I'll say that's wonderful news because my at least my first three units will be in the beginning of batch four. Uh, my last two units that I ordered was actually on the last day, so I would anticipate that that would be in a later batch. Uh, batch five is still to be scheduled yet, uh, but I, w I believe that Nebra are expecting to deliver those uh, probably sometime October, November, uh, but at this stage, there is no firm date. So if, if you have ordered an outdoor unit, they have also allegedly been cleared for uh, distribution. I don't have confirmation of that. There seemed to be a little bit of um, misinformation on Discord. How unusual. 
uh, but the outdoor units may have been given the go-ahead and will be distributed soon. So if you are in Australia and you have ordered them from in batch one or batch two, there is a high probability that you will receive those soon if in fact that clearance has been, has been given. Okay, so that's the end of the update for Nebra. Watch this space for more updates as they become available. Let's move on to Rack Kelchip. Now, Rack is probably the largest of the distributors. Uh, they are also out of stock at the moment. We are no longer accepting Rack Hotspot Minor orders. So uh, you can place your details into the form if you want to be updated on future information from Rack. But let's have a look here at the existing orders that are in the chain at the moment. And if we were to go down to uh, Lion, Monkey and Numbat batch, which are the orders that uh, should be in the process of shipping, or if they're not, they're going to be shipping very soon. And they will all be shipped out by the end of July, according to the current schedule. If you are in Orca and Panda, well, you could uh, estimated shipping time for your order is August. Quail, Raccoon, estimated to be August into early September. Uh, squirrel, turqu turtle, and unicorn uh, estimated to ship around September 21. Now, I can't even pronounce this name. Villa, <laughs> I'm not even bothered going to try. I'm sure that you can uh, give me a, a broken down version of it in the comments below. Uh, Walrus and Xenops. I, I can't pronounce that name either. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? But anyway, those are estimated to ship around October. Uh, Yak and Zebra are in November. Alien Baby, Baby Yoda are estimated also to ship in November. Uh, Chewbacca, Darth Vader and E.T. estimated to ship in November through to December. And Frankenstein is the last batch to be given a batch as it stands at the moment. And they are also to be distributed through November into December. Now, I have an order in with Rack. I placed my order very late in the piece. It was during the... Uh, lottery system that Rack were running right at the very end and my order is 6,600 and oh, sorry 660,000 somewhere in there anyway it's cut a couple of sixes <laughs> but my order at this point doesn't has not been assigned to the current uh, distribution schedule which would lead me to believe that they will probably be delivered uh, January, February of 2022. So if you ordered your rack hotspot in that uh, period during that lottery phase, I'm sorry guys to say that you'll probably be waiting through to 2002. If you get them as a Christmas present from Santa, I think you're going to be very lucky. So that's it for rack. All right, so through to Synchrobit. Synchrobit was the latest uh, distributor to be providing units to the AU915 frequency band. And up until today, I believe that they were still taking orders. But on visiting their site tonight to produce this video, I identified that they are now out of stock. I'm not sure if that is permanently out of stock or if that is just short term. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. But uh, the AU915 are no longer uh, available to order through Synchrobit. So as that stands, the three companies which were providing units to Australia are no longer accepting orders. So as of the time of production of this video, there are no distributors that are distributing units to Australia. I'll get to the exciting news in a moment about the new distributor coming online that has committed to distribute units to Australia um, very soon. But let's just have a look at Synchro a bit about when they look at fulfilling the orders to Australia. And according to their Discord, that is expected to begin in September. Do you notice it doesn't say to complete in September, it's just to begin in, in September. Now, based on what I have read on Discord, is that Synchrobit is a distributor that is, like the others, well behind in the fulfillment of their American and their European orders. Uh, I would be very surprised if anybody in Australia received their orders in September, and I believe that it's more, more likely to be October, possibly even through to November. But hey, who knows? Uh, keep your eye on their Discord channel. Uh, if I get any updates here, I will provide an update video more frequently on their supply chain as, uh, as changes come about. But that's it for Synchrobit at the moment. Okay, so on to the most exciting part of this video tonight, and that is the new manufacturers. 
This is the new manufacturer that has committed to ship AU915 to Australia and New Zealand, which is just outstanding because as I've just covered before, all of our other distributors are no longer taking orders, uh, meaning that if you are just discovering Helium right now, you have no place to go. Uh, but thankfully, Linux Dot are coming on board. Uh, I have been speaking with Adrian, who is the founder and director of the company for the last two months. Uh, right now, as it stands, Linux uh, Linux Dot are still going through the approval process with Helium, but the confidence is very high that they will have that completed uh, on or shortly after the 28th of July of this month. How much do they cost? Well, the Linux dot, Linux dot has committed to a price at this point. The management team have agreed on the price at least for the initial batch of hotspots. Now, this may change. I do believe that uh, due to the component shortage that is out there, uh, Linux dot has actually redesigned their hotspot to utilize more readily available components. And at that point, there may be a change in price, but all we can work with is what we've got right now. And that is 399 pound. And that has an approximate exchange rate of $745 Australian. Now that is not shipped, so you would need to allow shipping and handling on top of that. And also you may need to allow additional for duty. Uh, now shipping as it stands, as I understand from people who have ordered from Synchrobit recently, shipping was actually quite exorbitant due to uh, the lack of freight that is going from US, Europe, China through to Australia. Now I'm not entirely sure what the freight will be for uh, LinksDot and I don't even know that the company would know until they actually do start distributing, but that is the price 399 uh, pounds. If we allow another $100 for freight, uh, we're probably talking eight, seven hundred and fifty odd dollars, uh, possibly duty on top of that. Guys, not cheap, but this is uh, this is in fact pretty comparable with all of our other providers. How do you order LinksDot? Well, LinksDot is still awaiting final clearance, as I mentioned before, from the Helium uh, Mock, which is the manufacturing oversight committee uh, and they next meet on the 28th of July. Now at this point it can't be confirmed that LinksDot will get the green light from the mock but the confidence is very high at LinksDot. Uh, they have got all of their FCC's uh, uh, approvals uh, completed and they have also commenced the process to get certification in Australia. Now as it stands right now they don't have that but once again, confidence is high that they will have that prior to uh, any distribution date. Can you order? Well, providing there are no holdups at the mock, uh, you will, they will be open to pre-orders in a matters, matter of days after the 28th of July. So perhaps the first couple of days in August is what I'm anticipating. I believe that the company, that LinksDot will be sending out emails. They'll also probably be communing via Discord to provide these updates. So it really pays to keep your finger on the pulse. Guys, as soon as I have solid information, I will be putting a video out straight away. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is, I will be releasing a video. So please make sure you subscribe to this video, hit the notification button, bell so that you get notified of those uh, of these videos when they get posted. It will be imperative that you place your order with LinksDot within the first couple of hours. This is not the sort of thing that you can sit back and wait and think about it for a couple of days because the first batch will sell out in hours. I'm not talking days, it will sell out in hours and then you will need to wait for batch two which will probably be a couple of months down the line. I don't have any details to support that at this point, but if all of the other providers are anything to go by, um, it will be a long wait. Once they have taken pre-orders, when will the company or the manufacturer begin shipment of these, on, of these units? Well, the pre-orders within days of the final approval of the mock, as I just mentioned, manufacturing in August, shipment in October. So given the delivery schedule of all other Helium hotspots manufacturers, it is quite probable or at least possible that LinksDot may in fact be able to ship to Australia before uh, Nebra or Rack 
get uh, significant more orders to Australia. There's no guarantees on any of those things at this point, but it is looking pretty good. Now, the things to note here is that LinkStot have hoarded the CM4s. Now, this is one of the components that are very, very hard to find out there. Uh, and this particular unit, as, I, as I'm led to believe, is the primary reason for the delays that the other manufacturers are having. Now, LinkStot are so confident that they began actually uh, getting stock in months ago and they have been hoarding it, holding it very, very tightly, just waiting to get the green light from Helium so that they could produce the numbers. Now, I have reached out to Adrian and asked him to confirm how many units they will definitely be shipping in the first batch and how many components. But as you can imagine, folks, I mean, you've got to keep some sort of uh, commercial confidence out there. You don't maybe want your, your uh, opposition knowing what you have. So I can't give you the exact numbers right now. That wasn't available to me. But according to the HIP-19 documentation that Linksdot first uh, submitted to Helium is that they believe that they could furnish up to 5,000 units. So I'm going to be working on that as my as my estimate of how many units will be in batch one. Now, of course, you can't order Linksdot right now. So the only thing that you can do is go to their website to www.links.com and to place your details in the waiting list so that you will be receiving those emails. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification bell for Helium Down Under because I will be providing an update as soon as I receive anything. I'm getting information directly from Adrian as well as from another couple of sources uh, within Linkstot via their Discord channel. And I have al already sort of uh, struck up a bit of a relationship with some of the other Helium YouTubers uh, and the moment that any of us get information, we'll be trying to make sure that the information gets out there. So right now, all I can suggest is that you place your details in this and as soon as the order uh, site becomes available, uh, rather as soon as the mock has given approval, I do believe that Linksdot will be placing their pre-order page up there ready to go. It is not very far away. Now I if you're wanting more details on Linksdot, I do have an abundance. Of, I've got some other videos, I've got some photos, I've got some other information, but there was just a bit too much to put in this video here. So I aim to actually be producing a standalone Linksdot video very, very soon, within days, that you'll be able to come back to and see all of the descriptions and the frequencies. I've got some photographs of the, of the factory, of the process line, of the management team, uh, so that you can get some good confidence that Linksdot uh, will deliver the goods. Until they get here, folks, we can't be absolutely positive, but based on the conversations that I've had, I have got an incredibly high level of confidence in Adrian and Linksdot to be able to fill the void that everybody else uh, has left being unable to fulfill their orders. Now, going back before I mentioned 5,000 orders from Linksdot, they will not all come to Australia. They are going to be spread around the world. And what Adrian has told me, I have asked him, can you please assign a certain amount to Australia? But he, once again, guys, look at this as a commercial company. I wouldn't do that, uh, and I can't, and I can totally understand why he can't do that either. So he won't be reserving a certain batch for Australia, but what he has made a commitment to do is to process Australian orders as soon as they come in, as fast as they can, and he will put as many of them to Australia, but it's up to us to order fast. So we need to take uh, immediate action the moment that, that website is up to get our orders in. It's going to be the best opportunity to get a helium hotspot in your hands to put on the Australian map so that we can power the, uh, the people's network and to get that uh, internet of things happening here in Australia. So please guys, once again, subscribe to Helium Down Under if you have not already subscribed. Hit the like bell, uh, hit the notification and uh, there will be more videos coming out very soon. Thanks very much for tuning in tonight and look out for that next links.video within days.